Welcome everyone, this is Weems from Grow Up and Game, and I wish I had a fan boat. We are playing Druidstone, The Secret of the Minear Forest, and we are about to go to the Furian Wetlands, and I'm not going to lie, I generally hate wetlands levels in games. It tends to be a lot of poison, disease, and just, you know, tedium. So hopefully this one's a little better. Or, I don't know, if the other levels of this game have been, you know, any precedent, it's probably not going to be. But let's see what we're up against. From no one to Ava, no subject. Someone has to teach this person the email etiquette. Uh, we have information regarding your father, the Archdruid. First, a task. Retrieve two medallion halves from the old Furian Tower ruins. Then we can talk and be very careful. The ruins are not the peaceful place they used to be. It's a safe assumption. The Graves of Brothers Grimm. So I'm guessing some type of undead thing's going to go on, and then we have some type of interlude afterwards. So let's do it. I haven't been here in years. This was a place of quiet contemplation. Not with this music it is. Oh, those are dead people. How long are they going to be dead? <laughs> dead and mutilated bodies part of the decor. Really? You're standing between the dead bodies in a realm of magic? Their faces. With a blunt instrument. <laughs> it was a career. Dialogue's actually not too bad in this game. It might be unrelated. Seriously? Yeah, they aren't exactly trying. Oiko, with the top notch intel over here. The dead flesh. But I think it's moving. Wow, he does have a really good sense of smell. As someone with allergies, I cannot relate. Oh, alright, what do we got here? We've got plague rats, plague rats, skeleton skeletons. Void haunt. Can fly over pits and low obstacles. Uh, no armor. Some damage. Three chests, two medallions. Uh, those are bones, which appear to be getting animated soon. Uh, can I, like, shoot these? Like, destroy the bones before... That would be pretty cool. Yeah, one chest, two chests. There's no time limitation. But that doesn't mean there won't be some type of soft time limitation in the form of, you know, a bajillion undead things coming at me. So I'm gonna preemptively just assume I have to be a little bit tactical with my AoE. Uh, is there anything really over here? that I care about? Doesn't look like it. Have I identified all the chests? One, two, three. So they're all over here. Sarcophagus, sarcophagus. I'm gonna assume those are my objectives. Uh, if they're not, I'm in a lot of trouble. So let's boogie oogie oogie. What's over here? All right, it doesn't seem anything right now. Yeah, more void haunts. Apologize for the delay. I'm just getting my bearings here. All right, let's um move. So he'll move. Oh, that's totally not what I meant to do. Yeah, whatever. I guess we'll live. We'll make it work. There, friggin' a. That was just a mistake. That was a good old-fashioned garden variety misclick. You're gonna guard. And we're gonna go right up the gut. Because time is not currently working against us, although it might secretly be working against us. Beyond the grave? Oh, that's good. What does that do? Oh, summons more people. Alright, so they're looping around back. Uh, Leonhard here can go and start getting busy, though. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, you can hit the Void Haunt. So, yeah, we're gonna go in here. He's gonna charge. He's gonna pop this guy in one hit. Get out of here. He's done! Alright, so, Ava's gonna move up. And Oiko's gonna move over as well. We're gonna try and keep this controlled. At the start of the level here. How far can this guy go? Can't go that far. That's fine. We're going to end turn. 
he will just tank that damage. So is this just gonna is he gonna just summon dudes every single turn? Alright, that's a bit of a problem. We need to get rid of those guys. Is he just gonna keep doing it? Oh, he's looking for corpses, I think. And I have a feeling that anyone I kill, he's gonna be able to just bring back. So we need to address that. How can we though? Uh, so yeah, we got another reinforcement coming in over here. She's gonna go, she's gonna sprint. Cause then I can go, yeah, if she sprints up here, attacks, pops this guy in the face, Leonhardt can step up, do his whirlwind, take out these two, and clear the path over to the next enemy, pick up some health along the way, and just get in range so that he can't bugger out. So he's, oh, so see this. Yeah, we need to focus on these Void Haunts because they're going to be a real pain in the butt. I can already tell. So we're going to go, we're going to end turn. We're going to kind of, we're going to back ourselves against the wall intentionally here. So is that only get the one or is it going to get the two? I'm trying to understand how this all works. Or is that just saying that they are eligible? Oh, the red is impending. And that is just eligible to be rezzed. Oh, uh, what? No, no, that, okay, that was the impending one. All right, so he can do his little shift to if he wants. But no, I want him to... Actually, we're going to juice up a power attack here. We're going to pop this guy in the face. Oh, uh, actually, hindsight being twenty twenty, that was completely unnecessary. Uh, actually, no, maybe it wasn't. We're going to get Oiko over here. Oiko's going to go ahead and just uh, take care of business right here. Knock this guy down a peg. As long as we can keep the damage down to zero, I'm feeling good. Ooh, actually, we have an, a, a, an action up there, so I can pop the Void Hunt, move here, and... Oh, didn't finish the job. Hmm. Not feeling good about my math here. This is not going the way I was hoping it was going to. So I wonder if I'm blocking it. Oh, there it is. He was trying to move away. Okay, so... All right, that gave us a little breathing room. Ah, you prick. All right. I want them to start collecting so Oiko can just go absolutely ham on them. We are getting... We're put in a little bit of a precarious situation. Now, she does have that undead sniping ability here. Five damage to undead or restore back to full health. Spend an action point to open. Yeah, let's do that. She's got a potion, which does what? Yourself and adjacent target to full health and remove all harmful conditions. That seems helpful. And get the sarcophagus open. Which gives me the medallion, which of course summons a bad, oh, several bad guys. Uh, can we do five, oh, skeleton boss? Oh, seriously? Alright, well. Eat garbage, you punks. Okay, hit him with that. We're gonna do a swap. We're gonna get Leonard back in here because I like his odds with the skeleton bosses over here better than Oiko's. Oiko can manage these two. Well, are these bosses too? Why are they plus? Why is everyone plus? And the skeleton boss is killed. Okay, so we need to nuke this prick over here. Alright, we're gonna kind of see where the chips. Ow! Ow! That's incredibly rude. Alright, I would like to heat. Oh my goodness, I am. I don't have a warm, fuzzy feeling about my current situation. Just throwing that out there. We need to get this boss down. So. He can pop him. Oiko can pop the other guy. Actually, we're just gonna have Oiko pop the other guy now, and maybe he'll just fall apart naturally. That would be pretty cool. Force bolt. Are you freaking joking me? Come on. Let the... All right, we're gonna swap. 
Is this allowed? There it is. Alright, get out of here. Alright, that guy fell apart. Okay, so that was a good call. Go me. Uh, we can pop this guy down. This guy's pro. Oh, shoot. Now they're going to come in here. Uh, we need him to just defend. We need him to just put a blocker up here. Oiko's okay. Uh, she is not doing too hot. She can actually probably just take the potion herself. Three, one. Hmm. Having only one heal spell is be ending up to. This is not looking great. What AoE options do I have? I have two focuses from Oiko, so if we get a nice merge here, Oiko can potentially bail us out of this. Uh, how far does this guy move? Not very far. Can she get a clean line of sight on him? She can. Alright, so we're going to take that turn, and then she's going to jab step back, actually. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're starting to see a little bit of convergence here, which is exactly what we wanted. I don't know how long I want to wait, though. All right, where's Oiko? Uh, yeah, Leonard's taking a little bit of damage here. We've got everyone in line of sight. Um, do we want to hold our breath a little bit here? She can take the potion herself and finish this guy off, and if she gets behind cover, he won't be able to reach her. So, Oiko, yeah, you're our you're point man right now. You're gonna focus. You're gonna give a little fire action here. That is just what the doctor ordered. We're gonna melt these guys. We pop them. Uh, so that'll give him a free hit. Oh, well, we might as well just hit him, right? While he's in the neighborhood. Now, we're gonna... We're gonna be a little bit conservative. He's gonna go back into guard. Because uh, he's gonna keep resing. But that's okay. We have Oiko here to keep just, you know, launching death into him. So I can... I can tolerate that. I'm gonna finish this guy off. She's gonna jump behind cover again. That health would have been really nice, but we're just not in that position here. And we're going to end turn. Yep, that was more or less expected. But it looks like it only goes forward. Now we want to see them keep converging. Yep. 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 Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, two. Three more. Okay. So if I go here, focus, can I get the five of them? I can. So we're going to melt them. See ya. This guy's done resin. I'm going to pop him. We're going to move back. We're going to keep, we're going to keep bottlenecking here. And actually, we are going to do that focus here. We're going to top everyone off the best we can. So we're going to select one, two, three. And she's going to pop cures everywhere. And now what we can do is we can slide along the side here. So we're going to pull, drag everyone down here. Leonhard's going to just kind of serve as our buffer. Um, and actually, Ava can probably try and sneak through. Oh, no. So we need to... We're still trapped. But we've at least got the resers down. We know that boss is coming out if we pop that sarcophagus open. We're going to end turn, though. It's just, this is the situation we're in. All right. He's disease. All right. We're starting to... We're starting to take some pain over here. What are they doing? So, actually, Oiko can just nuke this guy. Which I don't hate that idea. Yeah, he's gonna take the heart. 
He's just going to put this guy out of his misery. Because then that means Leonhard here is going to hit the Plague Rat. And she can finish the job. Which frees up his movement, which means we can start shuffling down here. Well, he's going to grab that heart. Oh, no effect. Oh, is that what disease does? Can I get an idea of what it does? Cannot recover health by any means, ends in three rounds. Son of a bee. Okay, yeah, he's got to stay out of trouble. Uh, okay, we've got healing options there. All right, we're not in the worst of positions here. Does Oiko have any movement? He does not. So she's going to slide up over here. We're going to end turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, they're starting to shift down there, which is what we needed. So Oiko is going to go clear the path. That's another heart. Oh, well, he can't take it, so Oiko's going to. And he's going to get out of the way. Leonhard can start moving. As can Ava here. We need Leonhard in front, though. Yeah, they can't move. That's annoying that you can't move through allies. I mean, it makes sense. So we're going to be running line of sight here. And, um, yeah, that's just how this is going to go. So he needs a couple more turns before he can... Oh, well, he can at least defend. Let's, let's at least give him a chance, right? What else does she have? No, I'm... I'm I'm living with this one. Alright, so we have the opportunity to pop him. Oh, what I would do for another focus spell. Alright, let's pop him. She can help finish. Oiko can probably just wax that guy over there. Or wax... You can wax one of those guys. So, we're gonna get in here. We're going to nail this Plague Rat. Oiko can slink up here. And he's got a few out. Oh, he's got one option. We're going we're gonna to hit this guy. Take care of him. Ava's going up here. Finishing off the Plague Rat. Leonhard can not take the health. <clears throat> but at least he can prevent them from taking it. I mean, not that I actually would have done anything. Everyone else is full health, which is good, and we have that potion once that disease wears off. So now we're just against a bunch of kind of puny skeletons. This is a much more manageable situation. Ow. As I'm losing the majority of my health. Ow. Are you done being diseased yet? Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, he's not diseased anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this here potion to get Leonhard back up to full health. That was a free action, so we that's good stuff. Um, can I pop him in one hit? He has no armor, so I can. We're gonna get rid of you. Uh, we're gonna get rid of you. And you're gonna move there in position. Uh, he's blocking the way, which is really annoying. Yeah, Leonard, you just get ready to take that. Honestly, at this point. Um, yeah, he can take those pot shots. That's fine. And she still has her nuke option available. So we've got those two. I'm guessing we're going to have that jerk pop out of there. Yeah, so we might want to save the nuke for him. Um, yeah, I guess this is our situation. Eh, uh, yeah, I don't care. That's fine. I can honestly distribute the damage. That's... I'm into that. I take that. Uh, she can reach the chest, actually. So if he can just pop this guy in the face, that would make me really happy. We're gonna go over here. Yeah, get out of here. I honestly kind of appreciate that accuracy isn't really much of a thing in this game. Accuracy is one of those mechanics that is just generally more annoying than it needs to be. Ooh, dynamite! 
Oh, that's hot. And you've got dynamite too. Yeah, just get over here. <laughs> we're just gonna, gonna do that. All right, so we're we're doing okay. It got a little dicey there for a second, but picking up that second focus spell ended up being a real good decision. What's well, not being a really good decision is getting lit up. Hey, get over here. Get out of here. So he can, he's gonna take that heart. And we're gonna go. Yeah, she can't move, can she? How much damage does dynamite do? Uh, three by three square. Oh, there's a two by two group of guys down there. I'm, I still have the one stick. So you know what? The hell with you guys. I'm getting rid of you. That actually gives me great comfort. So let's end turn. Hey, I said end. There we go. Oh. Did I kill everyone? Ha! Okay. Um, we got a little chest. We got a spell bug. Let's see what we got here. I would love... Almost auto shield. Oh, that's kind of cool. Recharge? Yeah, more focus. Why not? I don't know what's going to come up over here. Oh, I guess I went. I, was, I mean, okay, I guess at this point I can just loot the field. I mean, this might end up being a really terrible idea, but this is the first time I've really had the opportunity to do something like that, so I'm going to take it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Does she have the most movement? Yeah, she has the most movement and the greatest ability to not die. So we're just going to keep doing this. Just loot in the field. Don't mind me. And turn. Didn't miss anything. I think it looks like I got basically everything over here. And then we're going to remerge everyone up there in case uh, Big Boss Man decides to come back. So we can just dispatch him quickly. You know? Okay. That that jerk made me nervous. Go here and turn. Kind of annoying that it goes back to the ranger at the start of each one. I guess it makes sense because he's at the top of the order, right? So she'll go here. We're going to end turn just so we have all the movement. And we're going to go up this way. Who's going to open it? Actually, we should have Ava open it, because we want our hard hitters to, well, be able to hit hard. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, Ava, do your thing. Oh. Well, whatever. We did it. First try. Got a gem. Got some extra GP. Got two levels. Up. Oh, we are, we are groovy right now. So let's see what this gets us the aforementioned towering man that just suddenly showed up here I, I mean yeah apparently this place is just full of undead see those roots god these druid exclamations okay so it's a towering druid I'm guessing unless everybody just speaks in you know forest puns what, yeah, I mean, finding dead bodies over the all over the forest is disturbing is a good word for that. Concerns are bigger. The cancer. I honestly forgot about the cancer. Oh, I guess the cancer already struck here. Yeah, who are you, bro? Okay, so there are more. There is more than one ranger. Okay. All right, good job. Uh, oh, okay, so we get it and hold on to it for now. <laughs> Fair response, Ava. What happened? To Erin, our leader. Okay. Come blindfolded. Leonard, reasonable response. 
they're a little weird, but they're okay. I mean, I guess saying that publicly, I mean, he's, he can, he's literally right there. He can hear you. All right. You know, Leonhard, I'm on your side on this one. Towering man. You won't even tell me your name. You're just towering man. <sighs> Druids. Ooh, do I get to spend money? Okay. Okay, Ava, fair enough. Erwin Calthorn. Okay, at least, you know, they know each other, so that's positive. Just a girl, then. I mean, she's still technically a girl. Leonard, you are on point this entire level. Really, really, really in your corner. Paranoid, huh? The forest is dying. The trees themselves are whispering of a sinister... <laughs> nice. Oh, that was just a test, really? What was the medallion do? See who's side you're on. I mean, yeah, we almost got killed there. There was, like, a lot of undead. These two. It's the warden. And the small one, actually, I'm super curious. Thank you, Eruin. Saying what we're all thinking. I mean, Oiko, you just waltzed in on this. Red Priest Acolyte Robe. Obtained it by fraud. <laughs> I like you, Oiko. Yeah, I don't know why you're here, but I like you. Just a few excellent explosions, and they tell you to piss off. Mm, I know. Say murder is involved in red priesting, which honestly, huge deal breaker. Oiko, you're my boy. Yeah, what did happen to the Archdruid? The whole place collapsed. And a young woman. Nuala, my cousin. She's been helping my father. Through magical means. She's like Thanos. I, do I have to fight Thanos? Ah. How many infinity stones does she have? Spiders don't weave some. Okay. Corrupted the oak shields. Okay. Mary Brotherhood. That have a mystic connection. This, I mean, I feel like everybody has a mystic connection at this point. The forest is pretty promiscuous in its, you know, mystic connectivity. Now they worship her. Oh, so just because she benefits from it, she caused it. I have a feeling this might be a twist coming up here. Well, that doesn't change our mission. Yeah, thank you for no useful information. Other than the people that are trying to kill us, we should continue killing them first. All right. Oh, you should talk to old Steelface. He may still have a, or he may have a thing or two for you. Uh, that's that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's um, yeah, I guess that's a good name for him. All right. Well, we got through, and not only did we get through, we got through with top marks. So we've got the Blimmer Cave, the Placid Glade, the Trial of Cryon Blocks. Oh, Steelface, what is your proposition? Spawnlings killed the guards, took my crates. Can't open the boxes, not with the locks I put on them. Okay. Look for crates. Oh, okay. I like this proposition. Alright, well, I have a little homework to do. I need to look at what Steelface has to offer and look at these levels and... And then once I've kind of taken inventory here, we'll get back to it. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, then I'm going to assume you're pro-cancer and ignore you. But seriously, thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a good rest of your day, week, month, year, and life. This is Weems signing off.